Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Grimwit. This is Bloodlust. Today's vampire movie is Pale Blood, about a lonely vampire seeking another vampire for some reason. I guess he needs someone to spend eternity with, and all he comes across is a goth chick and a crazy video artist. Let's resume. If you recall, Bunny the Vampire Vampire Hunter was lost in a... Hmm. Create Bloodstone. I need Snake Eyes still. I do not have Snake Eyes. I have the Ruby and an Elixir, but no Snake Eyes. Also, I'm getting quite thirsty. This is bad news. Ah, Snake! Well, um, as it said, ask and you shall receive. <laughs> so, let's kill a snake. Wow, I did not hit the jump button. That wasn't me. I didn't know you could jump backwards. I would have jumped back further. I did 11 damage to the snake, but did I get his eyes? No. I want more snake eyes. Come out, Mr. Snake. There we go. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, we just have to coax him out. With my feminine wiles. Okay, now. Snake Eye, Elixir, Ruby, we have everything we need. Okay, let's see how this works. Let's take some Snake Eye. Let's take... I don't know why this thing is vibrating, the Ruby. And let's take... Oh, shift right click. Beg my pardon? No? Also, I just closed everything. Try that again. And a ruby. Alright, this should create... Alchemy skill low required one, two, wait. So, I need to... I need to level up alchemy? Okay, no I don't. Good. I got a bloodstone. I got a bloodstone. Alright, it's time to get the hell out of here. God damn it, snake. Ah, how did you go? What? I need to get out of here. Okay, I believe the way out is this way. Yes. No, this isn't the way out. Doesn't matter. I want to talk to her anyway. Hello, Maybe pick up some blood wine. I shouldn't have sold that. <laughs> Alright, let's sell this knife. This. These three things. I don't need them. And, um. <sighs> I can sell the note. Maybe it's like information. Here's a mysterious note. Sure, this random letter that was sent especially to me, it's yours now. I don't need it anymore. Venom sack. Don't know what I'll use that for, so. Get rid of it. And I think alchemy isn't quite my thing. If it is, I could probably buy these just as easily. Empty alcohol bottles. I'm thinking along the same lines as the alcohol. But uh, we'll, we'll keep that for now. And I'd like some blood wine. So give me all three of those. That's useful information grappling belt I don't have anything quite like that dungeon key 
Hmm. Game token. Used to play video games. Holy crap, I love video games. This must be the perfect thing for me. Iron Mask. It's unidentified, but I have awesome sunglasses, and I'm not losing those sunglasses for anything, so screw you, teller. I mean, clerk. Okay. We'll stop here for now. And... Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Let's get out of here. Use our bloodstone. For that, we need to open this door. This is doable. Okay. Oh, hey, it's the Blood Scarecrow again. What's up, Blood Scarecrow? Varlock. Varrock. Very You. You're getting close up, Ledgely. Closer to finding the answers you seek. I can see it in your eyes. The questions. You want to know who made you this way? The one responsible for making your blood so very, very cold. You're in search of your sire. Who isn't? Um, the only thing I want is... Honestly, a cup of coffee. Blood coffee. Probably tastes pretty rusty, but... If you've tasted good coffee before, you know... You'll put anything in it to make it taste interesting. A way out. Impossible. Aside from killing the origin of your new bloodline. I'm afraid you're stuck in this nightmare. Origin? Sounds like something Solid Snake would ask. Your sire, sire, of course. The Emperor Raynor. Oh, man. Oh, man. Bunny really is the vampire vampire killer. Perhaps I should talk with this Emperor. Perhaps I should do more than talk. A fool on a journey to meet his monarch. Oh, how I admire the spirit of new fledglings. But perhaps you should focus on how to get across the pit and out of the ruins first. Yes, I suppose I should. Any ideas? Oh, thank you for this unspoken hint. Um, you speak with telepathy, so I'm going to assume that this subtext is like the telepathy of your telepathy. Telepathyception. Um. Man. Brenda Lee is so cool. Whoa, what is down there? First, let's see what's across the way. Hey, Head. Hey, Brandon Lee. Okay, that triggered a secret. I think I've been here. Yep, I've been here. Huh. Okay, that kind of wore me out. So there's one head. There must be another one around here. I wonder what happens if we gaze upwards. Okay, we hit the sky thingy. Hmm. Nothing here. Can I sneak under the door, maybe? Probably not. Let's try it anyway. What do we got to lose? I can! <laughs> That's cool! That's cool for the wrong reasons. Okay, I knew that would end up happening. So, we need to trigger another one. Hmm. Let's check our map. The 
pit, I believe, runs down here, because there was a way down which wraps around. Okay. There's no levels like Zelda-style maps where you go up and down levels of the dungeon. That makes it harder to map. And I don't recall coming across any other heads other than the one... Hmm. The mysterious note told us the east wall, but what if they just meant this head that I could trigger with my gaze? Also, that's the west wall, not the east wall. Thank you for playing. I must have already been here. Well, at least that's one more mystery solved. What? I didn't... Hey, you. Do something. I just realized that I could open this chest. I have Raven. Sword identified. What? Ah. Don't make me shoot lightning at you, bitch. Headshot. Gotcha. Whoa. I really don't remember this woman being here. Ooh, lockpicks. Can use those. Okay. Is my flashlight running low? Eh, I'm still pretty good. All right, back to the original mystery then. Oh, hi. Um, a little help? Ah, crap. From all that's dead. From all that's known. Be turned to stone. All right. Thanks, Head. Yeah, you're not so bad. Got an elixir, which is good. I'm gonna need that. And I leveled up again. Still want to be a hacker, so we'll put it in there. Oh, I see. Secret sight increases night vision, so I'll need the... Also, it looks like there are five clans. Good to know. I'll check those out later. Right now, let's put one in secret sight. I assume that makes things brighter. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I want past that. Well, I mean, it's just a matter of gaze, isn't it? Yeah, I'm getting too close. Well, we gaze again. There we go. It's another fragment. Ah, oh, crap. Help me, I'm stuck. Go, go get help, head. Go get help. Fetch Timmy. I think he's near the well. Nope. <laughs> uh, I'm... I, I cannot move. <laughs> so... <laughs> head gets bored. Thank you. Um, gaze obstructed. Can I... Can I sneak by? Can I jump out? Nope. Can I run out? No. Nope. Can I try to gaze again? Gaze, gaze obstructed. Too close to wall to land a strike. Um, load to safe area. Select this option if you are killed or trapped in a dangerous area. Selecting the block. Oh man, how far is this going to put me back? 
I'd like to select this box, please. Okay, there we go. Now, I want that. The question is, how do I get in there? Can I crawl? I cannot crawl. Ooh, I can roll though. But I cannot roll in there. I can't duck. Hmm. Is there another way in there? Can I pick up things with my gaze? No. I think I'm meant to take an animal form and go in there, which I cannot. That's my guess, and I'm gonna try and stick to that guess. What? Oh, hot. Did you do that? Couldn't have. See what this opens. Ah, another shard. Load up my good weapon, just in case. What's up, head? Head, you're in the way. Okay. Let's try and figure this puzzle out. We know we can do this one. And next we have to figure out where the second switch is. It's gotta be around here. I wonder if it is above that area? Let me not step over the pit. Okay, I hit the sky box. There we go. The first leg of your journey ends here. But your instinct is surprisingly strong. Considering your memory has eluded you, make your way to the tattoo shop. Questions will be answered there. Fascinating. Travel to sewers. I thought we were trying to avoid the sewers. Seems like we were. Oh, fun. Okay, well I can't go that way, so kinda. Do I already have a map of this place? Yes I do. There's a thug right there. To the streety seats, a hideout right there. That's to the ruins. Gotta be an exit to this place. Oh, I can high jump up there. Sure, why not? Okay, I was expecting something a little more graceful. Not enough spirit. Oh, that's right. It takes spirit force to do that. Well, we're gonna try again anyway. Ow, my head. I sense a vampire near. Back for more. Oh, hi. I'm gonna take care of you personally. Remember, with vampires, it's always the headshots that matter. Thank you for your time. 
Okay, I got some spirit source again. Ow, my head. Ah, why do I gotta jump so high? Alright. We can come back and explore this area later. Okay. Wow. This is actually pretty crazy. It's a theater, a nightclub, a pawn shop. Hey. That's right. We have pawn shop things. Pawn shop business to attend to. Oh, there's the tattoo shop. It's right in front of us. But who wants to do that now? Let's figure out this pawn shop thing. It's Forever Night, which is another good vampire show. Right. Buy, trade, sell. Let's go inside. Hi, sorry for pointing the gun at you. I, I can't put it away. I wish I could put it away, but I can't. So I'm not trying to stick you up. I'm just trying to talk. We buy, sell, whatever you need. I'd like to redeem this. All right, it got me a goth vest. All right, so being the goth I was in high school, I can now see that I should have gone with magic user because they get all the goth clothes and goth clothes are awesome. It looks like I will just have to put up with being a criminal, poo. In the meantime, what else you got? Stuff. An ornate sword. It's not, it's not your doing. You have an eye of raven, socketable item. Hmm. Oh man, wooden stakes are still super cheap or super expensive here. And I can get my choice of wooden stakes or wooden stakes. God, game token. I want a game token. I don't know when it'll come in handy. They wait. Not sure if you noticed, but I am out of stock on a few things. I didn't notice. I heard some skates talking about some stashed UV and silver nitrate rounds beneath Fu King's restaurant. You bring those rounds back, and I will split them with you. <laughs> yeah, actually, I would ask this. Silver? But I'm hunting vampires, not werewolves. Silver is not a friend to vampires either. I know from personal experience. My cells have tasted the foul metal many times. I can even smell it over garlic when it's near. Silver nitrate is beyond the worst. In liquid form, silver can enter the bloodstream and wreak havoc immediately. Normally, I wouldn't mess with it. But it does serve its need for rivals. Rivals. I might be able to use that. Tell me more. There's a locked passage in one of the storage rooms beneath the restaurant. Inside, there's supposed to be a few supply crates. Possibly with silver nitrate and UV lungs. It's just a rumor I know, but ammo like that is very scarce. So it might be worth a loop? Anyway, I have the key. Bring back whatever you find, and I will split it with you. Sounds fair. Let's do this thing. Okay, here's the passage key. But you better come back. I'll be Don't back. Don't try and stiff me. Psh, I'll be back. So, um... God, those glasses. So Bunny the Vampire Vampire Hunter has her work cut out for her, as you can see, and uh, I think now is a good time to go ahead and close up this video. Turns out this game's turning out to turn out really well. Oh man, I need to stop doing that. Sorry, my coffee has run out of steam. So speaking of running out of steam, everybody... Go and enjoy your Halloween month, and uh, go watch Pale Blood. It's one of my favorites.